Hi and welcome everybody. So in this exercise what we're going to do is create our own colour wheel just like this one here but create it using paints. Um, so this was the colour wheel that I showed in the video about colour theory showing the 12 different colours that are around the colour wheel with our primaries, our secondaries and our tertiary colours. So what we're going to do is create this ourselves using paint. Um, I'm going to use the in the demo here I'm going to be using acrylic paints but you can also use watercolour paint to do this as well so use whatever you have to hand. You're going to need a paintbrush and also a mixed media pad here um, or a piece of paper that has um, enough thickness to it that it will hold the paint and not and go all crinkly. So just to show you this one, this is a Dela Rowney from Hobbycraft mixed media paper, nice and thick, 250 GSM A4 size. So it's, you can see by the size of my hands how big this pad is. So we're going to be working with that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to draw a big circle in the middle. So I'm going to use a compass, a pair of compasses, set of compasses to do that. And just draw a nice big circle. If you don't have a pair of compasses, don't worry, just instead get a plate, get a colour wheel and draw round it. This is, this is just very rough, we're not specifically going for accuracy, we just want to start putting some paint onto the page. So in my colour palette I'm going to just pop in some blue, some yellow and some red. So I've got my three primary colours. So this bit is pretty, oh that made a nice sound. <laughs> I'll move those out of the way. So this bit is pretty easy. So let me find a paintbrush. Let's go with this one here. So choose a paintbrush that is applicable for your medium. Just putting a bit of water on it and then drying it off so that the bristles aren't too um, crunchy. Love it. And also so that it's clean in case I was working with something else before doing this. So let's start with our red. And I've got my colour wheel reference here next to me. So I'm just going to create a little splodge of red um, and I'm not necessarily going for huge accuracy in the sections of my colour wheel I just want to do a little splodge of red this is a reference guide and it's really important it's really handy to know how to mix colours because it can be very expensive as an artist um, choosing and buying all the colours of paint and it'll be typical that the colour that you want will be the one that you don't have <laughs> when you want to use it. So learning how to mix primary colours to make other colours and doing this and practising this is um, super helpful for um, when you do want a colour. So we're just going with the pure hues to start with. So we're just going with the pure red, yellow and blue. And I'm roughly putting them across at equal spaces. I say roughly because I can see that yellow is not really spot on um, equal distance. So this really is just a rough guide. It's about the mixing, not the end result. But if you want to mark out 12 spaces, please do. Let's work on our secondary colour. So what we need to do is put one here, which is mixing our yellow with our red. So what we want to do is just try and mix a really nice medium orange so that we get our medium orange colour so hopefully you can see me mixing that colour okay now something that's worth noting when you're mixing colours um, is the strongest or the darkest colour will always dominate so if I was mixing black and white for example very dark very light and I know some of you are going that's not a colour black and white dark colours the dark colour will always dominate so if you're trying to make a red um, lighter start with white so if you're making a tint of it and then add the red into it the darker color will always dominate so here we've got some nice orange so I'm going to put that orange in here okay so you can see we're creating beginning to create a lovely colorful color wheel lovely so that's our orange let's now mix our yellow and our blue together to make a green so just have a little bit of blue a little bit of yellow and just start to mix. So you can see the blue is quite a dominant colour there so let's mix it up. 
If you have a bigger colour palette than me, it might be helpful. <laughs> I seem to have the world's smallest colour palette here. Um, but never mind, you get the gist. So we end up with our green. Um, please take a little bit more time than I'm doing as well. So experiment with getting the colour exactly how you want it by adding a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue and see what happens. I'm doing this quickly just so you can see the theory behind this. So there we have some lovely green. Brilliant. Um, I've used um, acrylics for this video because acrylics are quite solid colours and hopefully it just stands out quite well on the video. That was the theory behind it. So now let's mix our blue and our red to make our purple or a violet. You can need a little bit more of both there. So it's good to wash your paintbrush in between otherwise you'll end up with basically brown. Um, if you've ever seen kids play with colour, um, I don't know whether you know but I run a pottery cafe and um, we have a number of colours in the shop that people can choose from and we, we generally say actually don't mix them because it can influence how the colours change in the kiln. But kids, of course, they don't listen to us, they mix them. And they often mix all the colours together and we always end up with brown. A brownie, brownie splodge that ends up being used. It's quite fun. Um, so we've got our lovely purple there. I'm going to mix a little bit more red in. Or violet. This one is called violet. Great. So let's pop that one there. Great. So we now have our secondary colours violet, orange and green. So we're now going to mix and fill these gaps in in the middle. Um, so again I'm going to dry my paintbrush off. So what I need to do is mix my red and my orange to get our ready orange. And so this colour will be about halfway in between these two colours here. So I've got to be careful not to use up all of this one. There we go. And again as I said Please take a little bit more time than me to do this because you've got the time and it's a really wonderful relaxing exercise. So you can see we're starting to get our lovely rainbow effect going on here. Wash the brush, get mixing again. So let's take some yellow with our orange to get our yellowy orange. Slightly running out of paint, but never mind. We will get there. Good. So I will just use that so you can see those wonderful, wonderful colours coming together. And again, that could be just a little bit darker if I mixed it so it's almost exactly in the middle. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So let's mix the um, yellow and the green. So let's see if I can find some more yellow that's not too covered in orange. Have a little mixeroo. Get our yellowy green. Oh no, I got a little bit of orange mixed in. But I think we've got the colour there. There we go. Let's fill that in. Fantastic. Quite liking that colour. It's like a lime green. There we go. And let's then quickly mix our green and our blue to make our blue green <laughs> or green blue whichever you want to call it. So I'm just mixing a bit of blue into the green to make our bluey green, greeny blue. Oh, that's quite nice. Might need a bit more blue actually, I think. So you take your time to sort of adjust the colours to get them close to those ones we see on the colour wheel here. Really lovely. And depending on the brand of paint that you use, that the hue of the colour that you, you choose in those red, greens and blues, these may come out looking a little different to mine, which is the fabulous thing about colour. So we've got to mix with our um, violet next, our violet and our blue. I haven't got much violet there, so let's keep a little bit over here. Oh, that's quite nice. Ooh, rather lovely. Just fill that one in there. Oh, I like that. It's very close to my indico colour that I'm a bit in favour of at the moment. Good, 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 good. 
Um, and these colors may look different on the screen to how I'm seeing them now with you in real life. So that is another really fascinating thing about color is everyone's perception of it is different. The different mediums we use it on are different. Um, screen, printed, paint, um, and how our eyes view it. It's all so very, 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 very different. So our red violet, this is quite a lovely color here. Oh, look at that. Lovely. So a very quick rundown of creating ourselves our own color wheel. We've mixed the colors ourselves. We have our primary that we started with, our secondary, which are here, and our tertiary, which were the very last ones that I just did, that filled in the gaps. And we have our 12 colors. So this is a fantastic exercise to do. So please do this. Lovely. Have fun with your color wheel, and I look forward to seeing your results.